Hi, welcome to my review of Solid Dread by Clint Eastwood, a biodrama centered on the controversial NTSB aftermath of US Airways pilot Chelsea Sullenberger after successfully committing the astonishing task of landing an Airbus A320 with blown engines onto the Hudson River to save all who boarded the plane at the La Guerta Airport on January 15th, 2009. So as I've just stated, Sully is directed by Clint Eastwood, whose other directorial contributions include Letters from Iwo Jima, Gran Torino, 2014's American Sniper, and among others. And even though I might not be as versed as some other people out there when it comes to Clint Eastwood films, I was very much looking forward to this film because once Tom Hanks, and I am a fan of Tom Hanks, I think he's a great actor, even though he pretty much plays himself in every single film. But the thing about Tom Hanks is that he's just extraordinary at playing himself, and then you have Clint Eastwood, who is a great filmmaker. Now, like I said, in my synopsis, this film focuses on the aftermath of the crash, Sully's battle with the National Transportation Safety Board. To sum it up, a flock of geese got sucked up by the engines, completely destroyed them, and the Tom Hanks character, Sully, had no other choice but to land the plane in the ocean. However, the NTSB, they come out and they say, okay, well, the engines were blown, but you still could have turned the plane around and landed it back safely in the La Guerta Airport. And by landing the plane in the Hudson River was not only more endangering, but it also cost a lot of money. And of course, this doesn't only put Sully's job on the line, but his entire well-being is at risk. What I really appreciate about this movie is that you do see that internal conflict with the Tom Hanks character, Sully. You have people calling him a hero. However, you have the NTSB kind of going like, well, maybe you're not so much. So by witnessing all of this and experiencing all of this, he starts to have a lot of doubt. He starts to think, well, maybe I could have done this a different way. Maybe I did do something wrong. Maybe the way I remember it isn't exactly how it played out. This is also supported by the filmmaking as well with the use of flashbacks, dream sequences, and etc. Even though I can't say that I know that much about Sully as a person, I can say that I did find him to be relatable based on that alone because I do feel like that is a feeling that we've all had at some point in our lives, that kind of feeling of self-doubt. Maybe not as severe as his, but still relatable. Now, if you're somebody who saw American Sniper back in 2014, then you would know that Clint Eastwood is a director that really knows how to set up tension. Especially when it came time to focus on the actual landing of the plane in the Hudson River. Even knowing the outcome, I still found it to be a relatively nail-biting piece of filmmaking. I think it does a really good job at putting the viewer in that plane. My only complaint is that Clint Eastwood actually breaks the tension by including all these excerpts, all of these cutaways to air traffic controllers, as well as reporters and bystanders. I get that Clint Eastwood wanted to broaden the story, maybe pay tribute to the people who were involved in this whole thing, the heroes involved, but ultimately I found it distracting and it just kind of seemed to disrupt the flow of the film. And if you want to talk about things that seem oddly placed or unnecessary, there's also the inclusion of backstories for certain passages passengers, and in theory that sounds like a great idea, but the presentation I found to be kind of weak, and the actors that play these people, they're not the greatest, and I just found it to be just kind of corny overall. Unfortunately, even though that this is too meant to pay tribute, it comes off as an afterthought and the means of padding the film. There are also these scenes that feature Laura Linney, who plays Sully's wife, and her scenes could have been cut out of the film altogether, and it would pretty much remain the same. Her scenes exclusively, and I do mean that in every sense of the word, exclusively feature her talking to her husband through the phone. The scene begins with a shot of Tom Hanks, then it cuts to her, then it cuts back, rinse and repeat, and honestly, I really do feel like these scenes would have been better if it had just been Tom Hanks talking to her through the phone with her just being a voiceover. I feel like that would have provided those scenes with more intimacy, putting you in that room with Tom Hanks, and the same could be said for all the plane stuff as well, definitely. Again, there's too much cutting back and forth and not enough time to really truly soak in the surroundings properly, at least for me. As for anything else that I wanna mention, I think the acting is great. Tom Hanks, you know you're gonna get some great acting from him. You have Aaron Eckhart. It's nice to see him in a film after so long. I haven't seen him in a film since The Dark Knight. There's also Anna Gunn, who you may recognize from Breaking Bad as Skylar White. She's not in the film a whole lot, but she is there. Overall, Sully is a good, very inoffensive film to check out. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's not going to be remembered when it comes time for the Oscars, but nonetheless, it is a nice little film that offers something inspirational and heartwarming. It is a bit sappy or melodramatic, and it is indeed a piece of Oscar bait, but it is one of the better Oscar baity films that you'll see this year. So 
I'm going to give Sully a modest three and a half out of five. If you are somebody who has seen Sully, then do let me know your thoughts on it. And as always, I'm Colin Kirkland, and thank you so much for watching.